Welcome to Vlogmas Day, well, episode four. I haven't actually vlogged in like two days. I have been home alone with this little monkey who is sleeping behind me. She just woke up slightly at the start of this video and I turned the camera on and I was like, uh. <laughs> but um, she's asleep, which is good, which means I can come and film. It's just been like two days of kind of being here with her and just focusing on her learning and training her a little bit and her settling and she's definitely got so much more confident than when we first got her in episode three which you would have seen she's just like exploring everywhere putting everything in her mouth and just so excited and just so lovely and yesterday i struggled a little bit because i was a bit like oh my god she was just doing everything and i didn't really know how to kind of well i know how to say no but i kind of was feeling a little bit overwhelmed with her barking at me but i realized now after watching many many more training videos the best way to kind of work around that and then today i put that in place and it really really helped and just like ignoring her completely when she barks at me and then giving her obviously really good praise when she listens so that's been really good today she's done so well she's just been outside to the toilet the whole day and yeah just been really really good i mean she did get a little bit muddy earlier she went she wouldn't get out of a bush but apart from that she's all good and i'm starting this vlog literally at like four o'clock it's basically dark the sofa's a mess because i've had all the toys up on here at jay's but i've got my hot water bottle on and i thought i would start the vlog and just vlog whatever i can really i feel like i was kind of putting pressure on myself to to vlog but then i was like there's not much to vlog so I didn't really pick up the camera the last two days. I felt like it might be a little bit boring. I was just kind of editing and cuddling this one. And yeah, I just thought, okay, I can start. I've had a few deliveries. I can show you some little gift ideas and some nice pieces that I've received and show a bit more of her because I feel like she's settled so much more today and bits like that. But currently, I'll show you how cute she looks. Little monkey very tired at the moment she's been snoring as well but she always sleeps kind of behind me because we've got this little table in the living room which you are balancing on and i kind of sit here oh, <laughs> and do my work and she's just got off on the sofa i should probably sit up there with her but at the moment she's asleep so she doesn't know that i'm on the floor which is okay but Today I received a really, well, two really lovely Christmas parcels in the post, one of which being from Aurelia and one from New Look. So I thought I'd show you these gorgeous pieces from them, starting with Aurelia because I just, I'm obsessed with their pieces. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen like my recent reel that I did that basically included like little pieces that I love from them. They do really incredible like cuffed hoops, which are just gorgeous and perfect if you kind of want to style up your ear, but you don't have that many piercings. Cause I've only recently got the top of my ear done and then I've got an appointment to get these two done again cause they closed up. But to get like kind of layered earrings, I like to have my cuff here and they do are like a huge range of different cuffs and things like that. So just such gorgeous pieces. So I'm gonna start with the thing that I already own from Aurelia, which is and something I have spoken about in my gift guide for her, I think. I showed this and shared it. Also excuse the fact that <laughs> I look a bit weirdly shaped. I've got my sloth up water bottle down here because I'm absolutely freezing. I don't know why I've just gone really cold all of a sudden. I feel like it's so cold outside and the heating hasn't yet come on but basically this is something that i was really kindly gifted a few months ago and that is their little like travel organizer storage cases which is amazing if you don't have the space to store your jewelry in your room or you're on the go a lot like i am and like traveling around and me coming and going from my boyfriends having something like this for my jewelry is just been such a lifesaver and I basically just keep everything in like this and it just keeps everything untangled and in place and it just makes it so easy because I personally don't like sleeping in my jewellery I feel a little bit like oh get it off at the end of the day it's like taking your bra off at the end of the day that's how I am with my jewellery so I like to be able to take it off and have it somewhere safe and um, because I've quite a lot of jewellery that I've collected over the last like 
two free years i like to keep it in good nick so this case is really perfect and these are about 40 pounds and so worth it like they're just really great at keeping them safe and if you know any loved ones with jewelry that has a lot of jewelry and has nowhere to keep it then this is also lovely it comes in I think around six to seven different colours, but you can also get the minis, which are £25, which are basically like half the size for just like rings and earrings and maybe like one or two necklaces. But that has just been so great. And I've got this here because I was at Jay's and I brought all my jewellery with me. So I wanted to show that before showing the little parcel that they sent me. So they sent me this. I'm hoping it doesn't wake Winnie up again because earlier she was playing while I was opening it with her. But this really gorgeous box and inside they sent me honestly i actually can't believe because this is like one of my favorite candles in the world it is the min I'm, again i can't pronounce names of brands but the minnesota no <laughs> mimosa mimosa i want to say i'm gonna say that wrong anyway these beautiful candles which i will leave linked down below and I just wish you could smell through the screen. They're beautiful. They do they do amazing like perfume scents as well, this brand, and they're just heaven. They, I mainly know from buying them from Space NK. I haven't really seen them anywhere else but there. Maybe the White Company as well and John Lewis. I think John Lewis do really good gift sets of these, but just beautiful candle, like so lovely. And then they also, a mini champagne, which I probably will just have Christmas Eve with my mum and my sister and yeah have that and then something that I didn't know they did which I was really really excited about oh don't want to wake her up <laughs> is these amazing like makeup bag organizer storage cases which again come in like loads of different colors this is the black one with the gold zips and if you guys know me you know how much I love a gold zip and inside they really kindly sent me some of their pieces from their new Aurelia Luxe range and just absolutely stunning so this is okay just as I was showing you she woke up and she's got hiccups you got hiccups really bad yeah she gets hiccups like six times a day when she's excited when she's tired when she's hungry and right now it's because she's really tired she doesn't like to be touched either when she's tired she just wants to sleep. Anyway, showing you all the Aurelia Lux range. I'm gonna go to sleep. <laughs> She's so cute. So showing you this gorgeous piece that they sent me from this range, which I didn't actually know they'd launched, but it's basically like the premier, oh, basically the premium designs and jewelry that they do and they do such a range of different prices so they do jewelry from like 12 10 pounds up to 150 200 pounds so you can literally get like gold plated to gold pieces and like 18 carat and all that kind of stuff and i just really couldn't recommend them enough as a brand like i really really love them this one is this like gorgeous kind of clasp gold chain which I just think is absolutely stunning if my camera will focus i mean how stunning is that it's just such a nice like detailed chain and i really love this kind of class chain i want to actually see how long it is oh, okay it's like mid midi length chain and it kind of like attaches by rolling and then clipping on which i really like it's just a really nice chain i'll get them i'll get jay to put that on me later so i can show you all when he's home because i swear with long nails i'm just not used to it oh my god guys is my hair tickling you no we're not biting the hair I think she might be awake. Ow. I haven't had my hair down since we got her, so I don't think she knew that I had long hair. Not that she would have cared. Oh, this is actually too cute. Oh no, maybe not. <laughs> You're being gentle. Hey. Hey. This is what it's like with the puppy. 
<laughs> takes a while to do anything because she just wants to play. I think it might be, unless she goes to sleep there, I might have to let her out. Good girl. Okay, we have more time, but that was really sweet. I'm glad they caught that on camera because everyone keeps saying to me, they grow up so fast and you've got to capture those moments. So that was very cute. She also loves to like bury her head under blankets and pillows. I feel like she likes to be in her own little secure space. So quickly before <laughs> she decides to want to come and play again and then I can kind of show you her awake as well because she's the sweetest. I'll let her sleep for a bit longer with the bear. But they also sent one from just their like classic collection which they also come in these gorgeous boxes as well which I think is really lovely for gifts. And this one's actually £15 so a really good example of the fact that you can get jewellery that looks beautiful from like a mid price range to high to low. And this is this really lovely mini tea bar necklace. They come in all different sizes and then obviously like range in price. This is just a really lovely small detailed gold one and I have so many friends that I know would really love this because I feel like delicate jewellery like this is something that's quite special and really easy to layer and kind of add into people's jewellery kind of boxes that they already have as well and I always think these are a really good idea to go for something quite small. So that was just a really lovely little gift. <laughs> the monkey's awake! <laughs> but yeah I just wanted to show you that as like the first little surprise gift. Oh, you itchy that I um, got today. So I'm gonna pack that away and then in a minute, once I've taken this missus out, I will show you the lovely little surprise parcel that I had from New Look because it was just so lovely. And I got well, I got it delivered after seeing Chloe's stories and she also got sent a lovely little like package for Christmas as well. And we both got matching, which is so nice. And I think in the future, as soon as we can meet up again, and kind of have sleepovers and that kind of thing it would be so cute to get matched up with your besties which also I should just say what they are they're pajamas which are really really lovely and personalized but new look have always been like my go-to for like fluffy pajama sets and they do really really good like beauty sleepwear fluffy socks fun things like that that I like if you are looking for like best friends and gifts like that then they do some fab pieces and just like a range for everyone and really nice kind of like fun gifts that are like homeware they do like gins and like Christmassy socks and festive kind of like baubles but then also you've got the festive headbands that are quite glam so they're not those like tacky ones that you know aren't going to last all year round which is also really nice but anyway I'm going to take this missus outside so be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Shut away! Where are your toys? No, no! Get your ball! Come on! She's gonna light my sliders, everyone! <laughs> my outdoor dog shoes! Where's your ball? Ready! Ready! <gasps> what was that? She's so funny with the flowers because she just likes putting everything in her mouth. Look at that. Ready? I think she might be going for a wee. This is her like little wee sniff that she does sometimes. <laughs> You're going to go for a wee wees. There's a ball. <laughs> She's not bothered by balls, that's for sure. What's that? Yay! <laughs> So Winnie just had her wee outside and we're now just playing. Jay's gonna be back in about half an hour so I'm just keeping her occupied with her little snuggle blanket. This bed actually and this blanket here is from the company Stillwell, Stillwell & Co and they're basically called snuggle beds and you can get a range of different sizes and colours and shapes and they're basically for anxious dogs or if you have dogs coming into a new home. She basically absolutely loves the blanket and when we first got it um they really kindly gifted me these when we first got it I was like it's quite small like it's the size of her and I was expecting it to be like a really big blanket but she absolutely loves it like it's so worth it because it just as soon as she could turned up like her first I mean if you watched my episode three you would have seen she was just loving it as soon as she arrived and it's something that she sleeps with and then this bed here is her like day bed and then she's got her night bed nope 
in with her um well where her pen is as well but yeah she's being cheeky monkey at the moment but jay comes back in around 10 minutes so that would be good because then it's like a new a new human to stimulate her for a few hours because i think not that she gets bored of me but i mean it's just nice to interact with everyone really a little bit more but i'm currently just sitting on the floor playing with this monkey and then i'll show you some of the parcels and stuff i've received that i thought might be nice like gift ideas as well for any of you that are kind of getting last minute christmas presents and you're like what do i buy them and that kind of thing sorry i just moved the camera in because the lighting is shocking but this is the bed i was talking about it's just a really lovely soft bed and a lot of my friends that have dogs also have this bed as well but bless her she just does this thing where she has to be like half sitting on me to be able to play with her toys <laughs> which is really cute oh no not the hot water bottle that's my toy <laughs> my little sloppy hot water bottle but yeah she's a funny little thing she's such a sweetheart um but yeah just in a playful mood so i'm gonna play with her for a bit so that she <laughs> what is she doing are you sitting half on my leg half on the floor she's got all these toys as well she never knows which one to go like with but this is the one that came from where she grew up from her mum so that smells of home i mean it, i'm sure it just smells of food now because she just because of the amount of food that she has and she just smells of food bless her her little ears dangle in her food so she just has little the bottom of her ears are like covered in her food so i think tonight we might bath her for the first time but we shall see she's just got like a green nose from being in the garden little muddy bum muddy paws and muddy ears and like food everywhere so i might bath her but apparently she likes baths so fingers crossed she does but i'll show you if we do but yeah that's the update and i'll show you the parcels and bits like that very soon so lovelies i've just come back home quickly jamie had football this evening so he's dropped me back to drop off my parcels which were a lot <laughs> to kind of like unpack and sort some bits so i thought i would try on the new look stuff and also show you so this was the lovely like little pj sets i received today got these really gorgeous little like heart print gray ones with india clifton like i see on the front which i thought was lovely and how insane are these slippers honestly i'm obsessed they are so soft just so so nice and these are 9.99 oh my goodness <laughs> that is so good and then these gorgeous these are literally the softest things ever this little like fleecy pajama set which i'm gonna probably live in because i love this kind of stuff and i don't know what the sizes and stuff are but i when i link them down below i will leave the sizes and whatnot but just thought these were so cute so i'll quickly try them on and show you all but do excuse the mess in the background when i show you in the mirror because my room obviously has all the parcels in and unpacking bits so it's a little bit messy but i just thought i would show you in this vlog so you can kind of see some trying on bits as well like first impressions but yeah i'm excited to wear these tonight because they just look so snug so first up this little set how cute is it oh it's so sweet and then the fluffy slippers which i absolutely love although i think i mean i'm a size four and i think they fit fine but i usually like to sometimes go up in slippers because i find that they have a little bit more lee like lee room leeway <laughs> leeway in them because i don't know if you can see but my foot excuse the fake tan kind of comes off the end a little bit because they're so fluffy but i feel like your feet kind of mold to them in a nice way <laughs> at times also excuse that noise it's my radiator it comes on like automatically the boiler um but yeah absolutely love it super cozy and like super super soft as well which is just amazing just a really lovely little gift okay i turned my ring light on because i thought you might be able to see like the set a bit clearer but how fab is this oh my goodness it is so soft and nice on. It's literally amazing. I love it. I'm definitely going to wear this back to Jay's tonight, but I absolutely love this. Thank you very much, new look. And I will leave this link down below, guys, as well, because, my goodness, like, I wish you could feel through the screen. It is the softest thing ever. 
but yeah i'm absolutely obsessed i think what i'm gonna try and do because i've only got like half an hour left at home i'm gonna try and do like a little unboxing of some of the pieces that i also ordered or have received from river island h&m and zara as well very quickly and show you all so first up this little h&m dress which i thought would be super lovely for like christmas day or new year's eve and then with the slippers but then maybe with like cream high knee boots or something like that but i'm going to style this up over on my instagram so have a little look for over there for next week because i'll definitely be kind of styling this a few different ways but how stunning is that just so gorgeous up these incredible sequin like high-waisted trousers my goodness how gorgeous are these they're actually a little less sparkly than i thought they'd be and i probably won't style them with like the white trainers and the top although i do like them styled like this i think i'm gonna style them with like a wraparound heel or a point toe boot or maybe i will do like a cream roll neck and a blazer and then the trainers as well but just wanted to show you guys them on but they're just beautiful i'm like a waist i want to say like a waist 25 and i went for a size 4 so they're like extremely tight there's like no leeway whatsoever so i mean there's literally kind of no movement there so they are comfortable but i'm like in between a 4 and a 6 high waisted waist like not my actual waist but this waist and i went down a size and they fit like like a glove i'd say i think if you're in between sizes i'd actually say stick for your normal size because i feel like there's like no stretch <laughs> whatsoever but anyway i just wanted to say that for reference but i just love like the baggy fit and like the wide leg of them and they're like a dull sparkle so i think i'm gonna have to keep these for like just whenever because i feel like they're quite easy to kind of style for glam date night evenings but also then for like the festive season they're like really beautiful as well and like very premium feeling like you've got this like really gorgeous kind of buckle detailing here on the inside and they just are absolutely stunning i love them like the material if i can show you is loads of little sequins but they're just not sparkly which i online i actually did think they were going to be more sparkly but i actually like the fact that they're this like dull kind of sparkle so yeah that's them and then lastly for h&m are these incredible black sparkly leggings i mean wow <laughs> i have just styled it with my black blazer and then like a little roll neck top and my office point toe boots which i am literally obsessed with but they are amazing i went for a extra small which is like my regular size and they've got a really nice stretch to them they're actually a lot more comfortable than i thought they'd be and they kind of feel like tights on like i feel very held in they're like a really nice shape and i'm five foot three and i think i'd say like there's only the tiniest there's a little bit of gathering because obviously my legs aren't the longest my torso is actually a little bit longer than my legs compared to other people who are five three but um yeah i'd just say that like, you can't really notice any of that and i've just kind of rolled it slightly in my boots so obviously if you're over five three then i think these will be fine height like size wise and length wise and then if you're under as well it's really easy to kind of roll them and tuck them into boots but just wow look at that i want to see like every step i take now that i've seen these on like h&m are doing really really nice um black sparkly tops and vest tops in this same kind of design and i'm very very tempted to perhaps get those pieces as well because this is just like magic look at them like sparkling how lovely 
But yeah, I'm going to style these a few different ways over the weekend, so I will definitely have them in the other vlogs as well to share with you all. But for this one, I just kind of wanted to chuck on some stuff while I have like half an hour free to show you all, but I just am obsessed. <laughs> they are so much better than I expected, but that's everything that I ordered from H&M. So yeah, that's everything that I wanted to share with you all from H&M. I was going to share some River Island pieces with you all, but I don't have time because I've literally got around like 15 minutes now to get quickly like sorted and head to the car because Jay's gonna finish football and come get me again but I will share that in the next vlog and I'll also try and like share some other bits tomorrow with you all as well if I can that arrive and bits like that but yeah I'm gonna go <laughs> wash my makeup off because I feel like it's just come off today completely but I just really obsessed with those pieces and thought I could quickly share them like festive ideas and hopefully inspire some of your like Christmas day ideas, New Year's Eve ideas but there'll be like lots of IGTVs and reels of like styling for Christmas day and New Year's Eve coming very very soon on my Instagram as well so if you're kind of looking for that kind of styling tips and advice then it will all be over there too but just wanted to throw that in there and I will see you tomorrow morning. morning lovelies I'm with little miss Winnie she has just woken up and oh I think she may want to go outside but I just thought I would start today here I just had my breakfast I had porridge fruit a peppermint tea and a coffee I'm still drinking the coffee because it's a cartoned coffee and I don't know why but I've only been drinking coffee for like the last three months I want to say and ever since Jay got me my coffee machine and I've been obsessed with making the Wolf Fox coffees and I just I think I'm a coffee snob now I can't drink anything else but the Wolf Fox coffee so I'm really like I've put some honey in this coffee that I'm drinking and put some ice in and I'm just hoping it starts to taste better but tomorrow I'm back with my coffee machine so that's fine it's all worth it for this little lady What can you smell? She's got her second like meal of the day in about half an hour. So I usually try and make her like, well not make her, but try and kind of keep her calm until her dinner. And then after her dinner, we have like a big play in the garden and just run around like little lunatics, don't we? Yeah, <laughs> she's so cute. But I don't really know what to film today. It's like my last day properly babysitting this one for a full day until next week and I'm just kind of prepping like so much because tomorrow I have like four campaigns that I'm shooting from home and then Saturday I'm shooting outdoors with Chloe and shooting like quite a lot of content with her and I'm just prepping for that really I'm just mentally preparing myself for all the work I've got to do this weekend which is all good I've got it under control so far <laughs> so far so good but yeah I don't really know what to film and I feel a little bit I don't know I feel a little bit lost with like vlogmas because I'm not fit I think because I've been indoors and like I haven't like I don't know just being with this one I've been trying to just enjoy being with her and kind of paying all my attention to her and I don't know like it's quite hard to film when you're trying to watch her every move so yeah I think yeah it's just one of those things where I haven't really known what to film but I've got a nice next few days of being out as well so I will be vlogging more of that but I'll show you what I can today and upload this this evening um, before I head back home so you guys can have a little bit of a vlogmas with a bit of Winnie in. She's currently eating the label off her blanket which I don't really know if you need to do that you can have your bear. Yeah. Also in the cuddliest set still from <laughs> New Look and it's just so soft and nice and warm. I literally went to bed feeling so, so snug last night. So that was really nice, but haven't got up and got dressed properly yet. And I don't know if I will today. I'll put this here so you can see her, but um, yeah, I don't know if I will 
get dressed dressed. I might go have a shower and get dressed, but I might just get back into these because they're so comfy. No, we're not biting me. If you bite there. Yeah, she's got I want to play face on for sure. <laughs> I feel like I'm drinking a Bailey's. Because <laughs> at Christmas me and my sister always drink a Bailey's out of glass like this on Christmas day. And it really feels like a Bailey's in a glass, but it's my coffee. What are you an itch? I'm currently just watching Gilmore Girls and editing some like styling outfits for New Year's Eve and Christmas Eve and like Christmas Day and that kind of thing. But I would love to know in the comments if there's a certain style of outfit that you want if you're looking for more glam outfits over the next few weeks for like New Year's or I'm going to be doing like Christmas Day looks and whatnot. But if there's any like casual looks you'd prefer. I know a lot of people over on Instagram said casual to me and I'm trying to grasp what kind of casual Christmas day outfits are because for me a casual day Christmas outfit would be like a nice well either a loungewear set that's a bit festive or has a bit of red in it or apply red lip or that kind of thing just to feel a bit like glam casual or whether it's like <laughs> no no or whether it's like sequins um dressed down but I'm gonna do a mix of stuff nope oh no but yeah so let me know down below if there's a certain kind of looks that you're looking for I'd love to be able to kind of create a few inspo styling stuff for that as well um and you'll all be pleased to know that my camera will be arriving my new camera very very soon so this defocusing thing won't be happening for much longer which will be great you just got the whole foot in your mouth the whole foot I have to say though, it's so hard to work with a puppy because I'm constantly distracted by her and when she goes to sleep, I start something and then I just don't finish it because then I end up cuddling her. <laughs> you tired? I'm gonna go take her outside, I'll be back in a minute. So lovelies, I have just had a shower and a wash and she's been so good and I've just made my lunch. I've got sourdough toast, avocado, scrambled egg and tomatoes and some like spinach. Raw spinach is absolutely like one of my faves. Ah, 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 no biting that. I think she's gone a bit tired again because she's gone all chewy, like she like does this mouthing thing. Um, so I think she's gonna probably come and sleep here next to me now <laughs> but I thought I would just eat this and then I'll film like a little get ready like no makeup makeup look because I'm just gonna do a nice like glowy look just so I feel a little bit fresher because I feel like sometimes especially the fact that I've been in my pajamas for like three days although I'm in like another set of pajamas I just thought it might be nice to show you that kind of routine that I do if it's like a Sunday or that kind of thing and yeah that is what I'm gonna do so no, this little monkey now wants my food, so that's not happening. But yeah, I'm gonna eat my lunch and yeah, then I'll show you. Okay, so I finished lunch and Winnie is completely passed out, which is great, which means I can show you my no makeup kind of makeup routine. So I'm gonna start using the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Serum. This is a dream. It's so nice on the skin. It's a really nice, like it's called like the crystal infused serum and it's for day and night. And it basically is just really good at like kind of plumping the skin and soothing it and making it quite bright and glowy. So I just use the serum every day and night on my face and my neck. So I've already done my neck upstairs when I came out of the shower, but it's just so nice on the skin. And I didn't know how much I needed it until I got it. And now I just can't stop using it. It's so lovely. Really like lightweight on the skin, but also just like really glowy and smells absolutely amazing. So I just apply that all over. And then I'm gonna go in with the Giorgi Armani, Giorgi Armani, no. <laughs> Giorgio Armani the luminous silk hydrating primer and this is like so glowy and it kind of like plumps the skin slightly I'd say if you have sensitive skin it's best to probably try a like little tester bottle or something because although I absolutely love it I don't there's a product that I'm using at the moment that I'm not sure if it's like breaking out my chin but I just love this because it feels really fresh and it's like doesn't smell of anything so it feels like quite natural on the skin but it just really adds that nice like glow i don't know if my camera's gonna pick it up but it just really gives that nice kind of like luminous base 
it's very silky as well so it's really nice under foundation and when i use the giorgio armani foundation the luminous silk one oh my god those two together are just a dream but like I was saying, if you've got sensitive skin, probably say it's one to kind of test out and see if it works for you because I don't know if this is breaking me out, but so far I've cut out two others and I don't seem to have that kind of breakout on my chin. So I'm hoping it's not this because I absolutely love it and it's so nice on. Again, very, very lightweight, like doesn't smell of much, just keeps it like very, very soft. And then my hero product, my absolute fave. I literally talk about this all the time, I swear. So sorry if you've already heard me speak about this so many times, but that is the By Terry CC Brightening Serum. And I use the one in the shade Sunny Flash. It's this really nice like golden bronzed one. And this under makeup or just by itself is a dream. I can't wait to, in the future at some point, <laughs> go on a nice holiday and just have this as like my everyday kind of glow on the skin but it's just so lovely. And I just apply this all over on those days that I kind of want my skin to look a bit brighter and glowy, but also want to kind of match up to my fake tan. I find that this kind of works with your skin tone. So it kind of adds that really nice glow. And when you're on holiday, this is just a dream to have because it's quite lightweight and it's also really, really hydrating on the skin. It smells of roses and means you don't really break out. And when I'm away, especially when I'm shooting for work and things like that in hot places. I don't like to wear a lot of makeup anyway, but I do like to have a bit more of a glow to the skin. So this is just lovely for that too. But I'm just obsessed. I've literally recommended it to absolutely everyone in my life and everyone just loves it. It is in like the higher price range. So it is about £61, I want to say. But this bottle lasts me like two, three months and I use it every single day. So this depends like how much you use. I just do those five little dots all over my face and that just does my whole face and my neck as well. But as you can see, it just really kind of like brightens the skin and adds that really nice glow as well. And then also for brush reference, I use like all Bare Minerals brushes, but then I also use the Bobbi Brown Full Coverage Face Brush. And this is like my foundation and my primer brush when I'm using like my serums and that kind of thing. It's just a really nice brush that just kind of doesn't soak in too much of the product, which I like because then it just kind of means you're not wasting anything. And that is the by terry cc serum all on and then because i'm not going to be adding any foundation today and i just want to be quite glowy and have my skin quite bright i'm going to add the sos primer by clarins and this is in amber glow and this is like a really nice primer under foundation mixed with foundation if you have a foundation that's very like water based this is great with it and also if you have one that's very matte based because it adds that nice glow and kind of evens it out so it depends how you like your makeup to be but i like my skin to be quite dewy and glowy and this is just gorgeous it's a bit more of a I guess I could say like a thicker consistency than the By Terry CC serum. This is like a serum for the skin, so it kind of has that glide on, whereas this is very buildable and can work as a highlighter as well. But it just adds a bit more of a kind of like glowier complexion. I'll show you it on my cheek so you can kind of see what I mean. But I use this as like on my cheeks now as like a kind of bronzing highlight because it's slightly more bronzed and glowy but then under foundation in the day as well it's just amazing so i don't know if you can see there it kind of just like brightens and contours at the same time because it is that really nice bronzed color but yeah i love it and it's just really lovely on the skin i've used it i mean i've used these together all the time mixed in with my giorgio armani i'm gonna be saying that wrong aren't i giorgio armani luminous silk foundation someone's going to correct me down below like that's not how you say it but i'm trying so i'm going to just apply this to this cheek as well and then i'm just going to do my brows for the day i think i don't think i'm going to add much else maybe some nice like lip gloss but i think i might just stick with that on the skin just so i feel like i'm ready <laughs> to get on with the day even though it's like midday already but yeah i feel like with a puppy that's fine um and then for my eyebrows which i do have a video like full video on this coming very very soon and over on my instagram i do have a reel with like the step by step of how i do my brows for like every day but 
one of my favorite products is the refi beauty eyebrow sculpt product and honestly i can't rave about this enough if you are struggling to get your eyebrows quite fluffy and lifted or you just kind of want more of a natural brow but you want like that shape to kind of hold for like 24 hours plus this is a game changer i have been on the hunt for a product like this for the longest time and i just have been recommending it to everyone i basically just on these days that i'm not going to wear a lot of makeup it's just really nice to kind of get that shape in my brows because they're a bit crazy at the moment I haven't had them done in a while but they're still I mean considering I haven't seen Claire my lovely eyebrow lady in a month they're doing pretty damn well because she always leaves them in like the best condition for me to kind of have at home and leave to kind of grow out but anyway I'm just going to brush the product through it's like a white product but it dries clear so I just do that on both brows and then at the end of the brush if I do it up quickly just has this little spoolie which basically allows you to brush them into place so i like my brows to be quite fluffy and bushy and as i haven't had them tinted in a while they're going to be quite like sparse i'm going to have those areas that aren't very full because i do get a little bit of bald patches but i'm learning to well i don't pluck my brows or do anything apart from when i go and see my eyebrow lady but we're currently trying to like grow those areas out but i do really like when they're looking full and fluffy so this just helps do that but as you can see just completely like lifts <laughs> changes the shape of your face i think brows do when they're all lifted and shaped as well but yeah that's one brow the difference between that one and that one and then i'm going to do this brow as well it's like an at home like sculpt lamination which i just love it just really kind of lifts the brows which yeah i'm just obsessed with and the other products that refi beauty do are amazing as well they've got this like dip pencil dip powder what am i gonna call it promenade like brow stuff which means you can kind of like dip and then gently like add in brush strokes into the brows and then they also have their really amazing like fine pencil which is great at creating really fine lines and making the eyebrows look really really natural as well if you like kind of doing your brows that way too but yeah that is me done for today actually one more thing i do want to add just to my lips because they've been a bit been a bit dry lately is just my bobby brown crushed liquid lip lighty baby lip gloss and this is actually just really hydrating and i don't have any of my other lip glosses with me so i'm just gonna apply that i'm also gonna apply my bounce and blur coral cloud bare minerals creamy blusher which you literally just apply with your hands which is why i love it so much because it's just so easy to carry around with you and apply wherever you go i actually use this on my eyelids and my lips and my cheeks sometimes when i'm like in a rush and i'm like i just need to use it quickly it's like quick grab and go product but i'm just going to do that to brighten up my face a bit and that is me ready for editing just felt like i needed to spruce myself up a little bit basically so i thought i would share that with you all but i'm literally just going to be editing now and that's pretty much it and then i've got dinner this evening with jay and yeah then i'm gonna head home and crack on with work tomorrow which i'm sure you will see in the next video but yeah that is it for me in today's vlog i hope you're all well i'm sorry it's been a bit all over the place and <laughs> um, things will be hopefully a little bit more exciting next week i'm actually heading into london for one last day for this year i don't think i'll go in another day this year now i, I literally think i've been into london five times this year but Anyway, I'm in London next week. I am actually staying in a hotel for a job that I'm doing. So I'm in a hotel for the night just for like work stuff. And then I have two dinners with Kirsty, which should be really nice. They're outdoor kind of things. So that should be good to see her because I haven't seen her for so long. And I'm definitely gonna have to bring a hot water bottle with all these outdoor <laughs> kind of meals and that kind of thing. But yeah, that is next week's kind of little plans happening so i'm very excited to take you guys along and hopefully like see lots of christmasy lights in london because i haven't actually seen them properly yet at night so it should be really nice to have like a wander in the evenings and have a little look around and start feeling a little bit more festive i don't like i feel like i was feeling really festive and now i'm not so yeah i'm just excited for jay to finish work tomorrow so on saturday we can binge watch some christmas movies because i feel like that might help kick me into the festive spirit a little bit more but anywho i'm gonna go edit and spend the day on the sofa with the little monkey who's 
completely passed out still which is great but I hope you're all doing well and having a lovely week and I'll see you in episode 5 very very soon. Lots of love guys. Mwah. Bye.